Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to hide Excel sheet. So here you can see we have this Excel file and if you want to hide this specific sheet like sales data or details or summary or any of the sheet if you want to hide, you can do that in UI path using invoke VBA activity. And in the invoke VBA, you know that we are going to use VBA code. There are only few simple steps you need to do to hide the seed. First, open any Excel file. Now go to file, click on this options, click on trust center. Now click on trust center settings and then macro settings and then make sure this option is checked. So this is already checked. Now cancel this. Now I want to hide this sales data. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take here Excel application scope because to use invoke VBA code, we need to use Excel application scope here. Now select that a specific file. So I'm going to use this sample file. Now click OK. So this can be taken from your variable arguments. Now here we need to use invoke VBA code. And here we need to pass VBA source code and the entry met method. Now let me open one notepad and here you just need to write sub hide seed. So this is the method name and and sub. And here you need to write seeds of your seed name. So let's say I want to hide this one, the sales data. So I will copy this and I will paste here. So seeds of seat name dot visible, it means this seat should be visible or not. So visible equals to false. So this should not be visible. I'm going to hide the seat. Save this and you can put any name like hide seat. Save here on the desktop. I've saved here. You can keep it in your shared location anywhere where the board can access. Now go to this one now enter that method name this is the method name the entry method name to access this this code now select that a specific vba code so this is the source code now we are ready to run that now just run this file and now you will see that sales data sheet will be now hidden and you have seen that now this is hidden now let me just unhide that and now what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you how to take the seat name outside from this source code. Now here we are passing the sales data. Now I, I don't want to pass this here. I want to take it from our variable. So here we'll pass one parameter that is seat name right and same seat name will pass here. So what will happen whatever value will pass so that will be applied to this parameter and this value will be applied here so based on that that seat will be now hidden so here go to entry method parameters click here and in the curly braces you can just paste your that seat name that you want to hide and this one also you can take it from any variable and you here you just pass a variable name from where you are getting the value. Now we are going to hide sales data and using our entry method parameter. Now run this. So this time again sales data will be hidden. You can see here it worked fine and sales data is hidden now. If you want to hide any other like details sheet, so you will pass directly from your activity here and run that. So you see here details sheet will be now hidden. So this you have successfully hidden that sheet. So by this way you can hide Excel sheet in UI path using VBA code using invoke VBA activity. I hope this is useful. If so, please like this video and please subscribe the channel if you are new to this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn Blue Prism, please visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash blueprismrpa.
and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you